You know, every year we look forward to fall around here with a great amount of anticipation. The weather cools down and the insects die back, the trees start changing and the scenery gets spectacular. And deer season opens. <laughs> You know, getting out there and hunting deer is a fantastic way to enjoy the great outdoors with family and friends. And it helps benefit the environment we all share too. Deer is fantastic eating. It's local and when you utilize an organic food source, game you've hunted or fish you've caught, it helps take pressure off the rest of the environment so you're not depending on farmed products that can have detrimental impacts on the world we live in. Now, I've got some deer here from that deer Dana took the other night and I found a recipe on Facebook. I actually want to give it a try. We're going to get started with that. Now I started by cooking some real crispy bacon and then I've got the oven heated up to 400 degrees and I'm going to follow this recipe just like I found it on Facebook. It was a Kraft cheese recipe and uh, the first thing it says to do is to punch some holes in your baked potatoes with a fork and place them in the oven for 45 minutes to an hour and let them cook at 400 degrees. Alright so I've got my potatoes here and they've come out of the oven and I've let them cool for a little while. While they were cooking and cooling I chopped up one medium sized onion. I chopped up a, a green pepper and I also chopped up some fresh chives. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these baked potatoes I'm going to slice them in half and spoon the middle out of them. Yeah, these are still a little warm. Make sure you let them cool sufficiently. I guess I didn't let them cool down long enough, but I'm kind of hungry. Uh, after you've got the middle spooned out of the skins, we're going to put these back in the oven. It said for 8 to 10 minutes. And crisp them up at 400 degrees. Let me set this for 10 minutes. While that's cooking, what we want to do is get a skillet and about a teaspoon of oil and pour that in the skillet. A little earlier while I was working on uh, processing Dana's deer from the other night, I took a little bit of backstrap, about a half pound of meat, and I sectioned it off into small thinly sliced pieces. I guess this, this recipe was originally for steak, but I'm adapting it to deer meat. Um, so I thinly sliced that and what we're going to do is we're going to start frying that in our skillet here just until it's brown. Now as this cooks, you want to put about a tablespoon of garlic powder in here. And the recipe called for Oh, we've got plastic on here. Um, three tablespoons of Worcestershire chire, Worcestershire sauce. So put your three tablespoons of Worcestershire on there. Mm -hmm. And then we will complete the cooking, stir it up real well with the seasonings. Let it start cooking real good here. Heat back up. And we're going to take this out, put it on a plate. And real quick before our sauce burns off, we're going to go ahead and fry our onion and green pepper up in here. While the onions and green peppers are glazing in Worcestershire oil, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Kraft mozzarella cheese here and I'm going to mix about a cup of that 
with the potato filling when I spoon out the potato. We've got half this bag here. Mash the cheese and the potato filling thoroughly together. Oh, there's the skins. Oh, don't burn the vegetables. We gotta keep moving here. This project. Oh yeah, they're looking pretty, pretty crispy. Looking good. I'm gonna put those up here. It's pretty labor intensive here for a moment. Okay, so I'm mixing the potato skins really well together here. Now don't turn your oven off and add your meat into the potato and cheese mixture along with uh, your onions and your green peppers. Mix it all together well and then we're going to spoon the meat, vegetables and potato mixture back into the potato skins. Top it off with what's left of your bag of mozzarella here. And put the whole thing back in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes. Alright, now we get these out of the oven and all I got to do is that. Oh! <laughs> Somebody's at the door. Perfect timing. Watch out for a camera. I'm making a video. Oh, what are you making? Um, I, that potato skin recipe we saw on Facebook. We want to try. Come on, check oh. it out. They just came out of the oven, and uh, I used some of the backstrap from that from that deer you got the other day. Oh. Now these are done. All I've got Ooh, these fresh chopped. The, the bacon was the only part of the recipe that I added, just cause bacon. But uh, we're going to top these with some fresh chives. You put a little bacon on here. And uh, a little, let's give them a try. How about a lot of bacon? Okay, let's give it a try. I want to try the meat. I want some butter, I think. Some potato. Wow, that's right, good. Mmm. 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 The meat's really good. Ow, it's hot. I like the way this turned out. It's really tasty. What do you think? It's a little hot. A little hot, yeah. A little hot. How's the meat? Ooh, the meat's really tender. Really tender, yeah. It's hey. really tender. We just happened across this uh, mm. this recipe on Facebook the other day, and we wanted to give it a try. Mm. So uh, we're always looking for new ways to prepare our, our mm. game. Gives you good reason to go and get another one. I fin I finished processing your deer today. So, uh, oh, awesome. after, after we eat, this is really good. You can help me wrap up all the uh, the burger meat. <laughs> Damn, I just got off work too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. guess but, I got some more work to yeah. do. Hey, fishing game, we're always looking for good recipes. If you got some, uh, we'd love to hear about them. But this turned out really great. Give this one a try. It's quick and it's easy. Uh, it's a little much. It looks like a little much for us. I might put a little sour cream on this. Uh, I like my sour cream with my yeah, baked, and I need some baked potatoes and meat. But uh, this some butter. Some butter. Okay, we'll put some butter on it. Try it that way too. But uh, a little salt and pepper. Okay. But this meat, the meat. Is it is. It's good. really tender. It's that back strap. If you want to join Dana on the hunt where she took this deer, or mm -hmm. if you would like some other recipes for venison and other fishing game, we've got a playlist for that. So check those links out by using the uh, clicking on the thumbnails provided here at the end of this video. And we would appreciate your subscription. We're Camo Chair Productions, sharing the outdoors on YouTube, and we hope to see you again real soon.